Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is the first week of this spotlight collab that I'm doing with a couple of ladies on Instagram. So here are the two women that I am spotlighting. So make sure to support their YouTube channels and also their Instagrams. Um, I'll have them linked down below as well. Um, so they chose the theme of kaleidoscope nails and I thought that was really cool. So um, to get started, we're taking our black gel polish and our Mylar flakes. Um, and I'm just adding some black gel polish in random areas in the nail, like so. And obviously off camera, I had already applied tips and shaped them to stiletto. So I add about two coats to each of the black sections. So I'm just going to repeat that to all of the nails. But I'm just going to make sure that they're in different spots for each of the nails. So now I'm adding my base coat gel so I can adhere my Mylar flakes to the line of demarcation where the black is. So I'm just adding that and then when I'm satisfied, um, I go ahead and cure it in, under my light. And I really don't know why they call it kaleidoscope nails. I really do like this design and I think it's really, really pretty, but I just don't understand where the name came from. I thought um, a kaleidoscope was like a pattern of like geometric shapes. Um, so this really made no sense to me. And that is no shade at all. <laughs> I'm just, I just, I'm just so stupid sometimes. I really don't understand. <laughs> So I'm just repeating this process to the rest of the nails. You are
I'm going in with my Beatles white gel polish and I'm taking my palette and just mixing it with some base coat gel um, as I'm going to show you in a second. Um, I'm just trying to achieve this like milky color. Um, yeah. And then using my dining tool, I'm going to use that mixture and put that right where that line meets. Um, and then after that, I'm going to cure it. After curing that, I'm adding another layer of base coat gel, and then I'm going to take my number two McCart line brush and going to be dipping into the white gel polish, not the milky white one, but the pure like white gel polish, and adding a line um, right where it meets, um, just to add a little bit more definition, and then I'm going to cure it. The base coat gel just makes sure it's, um, that that white is a little bit more wispy, if that makes sense. So yeah. So now I'm taking my pine poly gel in clear to encapsulate all the nails. And I'm using base coat gel as my slip. So I'm not really sure where I went wrong in this step, um, but it looked very speckled. Um, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to tell on camera, but after I've filed and shaped, um, the clarity of the poly gel just was not, you know, the best. So 
I really don't know if it was the poly gel or maybe the pine top coat. Um, I did use a Ohuhu top coat instead and it did look a little bit better. So I'm thinking maybe it was um, a combination of the top coat and the um, poly gel together that kind of messed up the clarity. After applying the top coat I'm wiping the sides and also I didn't show it on camera but I did add top coat to the underside to you know cre um, create that maximum clarity and now I'm applying my cuticle oil and blending it in and these nails came out really really pretty um, I just really wish that the poly gel was a little bit more clear and it didn't have like that little those little like speckles um, so yeah that was it for today's video Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and please don't forget to support Tessa and Nessa in the description box.